Well, 30-year-old Nick Oguala of Vancouver is the reigning Canadian champion and feeling confident heading into today's 84-kilogram final. I'm just confident. I mean, I've been wrestling great all tournament. Uh, I finally found my groove. My tilts are working, and I, I mean, I feel good. I feel good. I don't, I'm not really worried about anything, just uh, doing my stuff, you know? He sure sounds like a league. He's ready for this final. His opponent is Anosh Kumar, another Indian wrestler. That makes up four Canadians, four Indian wrestlers in these finals tonight. And indeed, Nick Ugal is definitely ready. As you see, Brennan, he took that first shot. He's on his own now, trying to score an additional two points with a gut wrench. As he tries to turn uh, Kumar's back, expose him to the mat. Well, really quick point there for Nick, and how important is it for a wrestler to get that first point or two? Very important at this stage of the game. Most wrestlers like to take a little bit of time to feel each other and get comfortable, but Nick, seasoned veteran, knew, knew what he had to do and got in there and scored the first point, and he just doesn't keep attacking here, as you can well see a uh, second attack of this match within the first 30 seconds. Well, he was 17th at the 2001 World Championships, but this certainly would be a highlight of his career, the highlight of his career, in fact, if he could win this gold medal. Well, after regulation, the match is tied, so they head to overtime. And here they are, just about to lock up in the clinch position, and this is very important because the first person to score the point will definitely win this match and take home the gold at these Commonwealth Games. And here we have Nick, he's locked up, he's ready to go, and here it is. Takes Kumar to his back for three points. And the perfect overtime play. You know, he sounded so confident heading into this final. Nick Uguala with the biggest victory of his career and a great move in overtime. I was hoping to clinch first, but the coin toss allowed him to clinch first. So, but I still thought I can do it, eh? It was good. I just, and I have to thank a lot of people, like my coach Dave McKay and Mike Jones. They've been working with me just like regularly. And a lot of people who just friends, family who just came and supported me. And I'm here and it's starting. I mean, all the hard work is starting to pay off. I love it. Canadian wrestlers with one gold and three silvers tonight and more on the way tomorrow in Manchester.